What's up guys today's video is on the top 10 best blender machines to date. Through extensive research and testing I've put together a list of options that will meet the needs of different types of buyers. We have considered their product quality, features, and values when narrowing down the top choices possible. If you want more information and update pricing on the products mentioned check these links in the description box below. Number 1. Breville the Fresh and Furious Breville offers a range of stylish, durable, and powerful blenders. Still, eye-wateringly expensive price tags may be out of reach for many consumers, except for the Breville the Fresh and Furious. This entry-level blender combines the brand's sleek styling with power to create a compact blender that's more affordable than other models the brand offers, although the base is made from plastic rather than metal. Simple to use, we were impressed with the Breville the Fresh and Furious. It was able to liquidize pineapple and leafy spinach into a completely smooth and lightly aerated drink, with no bits, as well as crush ice, chop nuts, and emulsify eggs and oil into mayonnaise. The blender comes with a 1.6 quart 1.5 liter jug, smaller than most other Breville blenders. We also found a slight amount of leakage when the blender was filled to maximum capacity, but this was only in the well of the lid and not enough to be a serious concern. Number 2. NutraBullet Magic Bullet Kitchen Express If you're tight on space on your kitchen countertop, this smoothie maker and food processor in one is a great buy. Compact, and simple to use, the NutraBullet Magic Bullet Kitchen Express comes with two 0.5 quart, 0.47 liter single serve cups for blending smoothies and a 0.9 quart, 830 milliliters food processor bowl so that you can grate, chop, and slice food too, as long as it's in small quantities. While testing, while the blender did an excellent job pulverizing fibrous pineapple, it struggled with leafy spinach, leaving our smoothie with a gritty texture. It was also unable to achieve a uniform consistency when chopping nuts and crushing ice. However, we were impressed with its ability to grate carrots, slice cucumber, chop onions and make breadcrumbs. As with similar smoothie maker style blenders, it's not suited to making condiments like mayonnaise, as there's no way to add ingredients while the blades are spinning to ensure they emulsify together. It was also one of the noisiest blenders we've tested too. Number 3. Breville the Super Q Blender If you want professional style smoothies, Breville the Super Q is the option for you. This powerhouse blender wouldn't look out of place in a professional kitchen. It's also got a personal blending cup with a travel lid to make smoothies for when you're on the go. It impressed us during tests with the 12-speed settings and the preset programs for creating crushed ices, smoothies, and more. The smoothie settings did an excellent job creating a silky mixture, and the green smoothie setting effectively mixed up veggies. It was simple to use, too. The Breville Super Q machine was designed to make larger quantities, and it struggled to mix the small mayonnaise recipes we tried. However, when it's filled, the blender copes well, and there are no leaks. This blender is excellent if you have a large household or want to make large quantities of mixtures in one go. The machine is also pretty tall, measuring 18.1 inches slash 46 centimeters high. Number 4. KitchenAid K150 The KitchenAid K150 is a worthy contender for a place on your kitchen countertop. While this may be KitchenAid's entry-level blender, it certainly doesn't compromise on power. On test, we found that it quickly pulverized fruit and vegetables and made a great mayo. If you're a cocktail fan, a durable blender that can easily crush ice is a must-have, and this model won't disappoint you. It's a great all-rounder. The blender comes with a 1.5-quart, 1.4-liter plastic pitcher and has three speed settings. While you won't find any presets for making different dishes such as smoothies and sauces, we think this will appeal to those that want a simplistic blender that looks stylish too. It doesn't come with many accessories, such as individual blending cups. However, we think that's acceptable considering this is the most affordable blender KitchenAid offers. 
Number 5. Svilling Infinigy. During testing, we were impressed at how easy that Svilling Infinigy was to use and how well it blended. It has 12 speed settings and 5 auto programs plus pulse to choose from. It looks smart on the countertop, too. Beyond the aesthetics this is one of the safest blenders we have reviewed, it simply will not operate unless the lid is fully pushed into position, and it'll stop blending if you remove the lid midway through. Another feature we like about that Svilling Infinigy is that the pitcher is a lot easier to lift when it's full with blended fruit and vegetables, but we appreciate that this may not be for everyone because the reason why the pitcher is light is because it is not made from glass, meaning that it cannot go into the dishwasher. The things which are slightly disappointed over is that it didn't crush ice as well as we had hoped. Plus, the price is steep. Number 6. Ninja SS101 Foodie Smoothie Bowl Maker and Nutrient Extractor If you prefer to be able to choose between a personal smoothie and a smoothie bowl, then the Foodie Smoothie Bowl Maker and Nutrient Extractor is a great pick. This personal blender's jar features a built-in tamper and doesn't need as much liquid to blend ingredients to a smooth, very thick consistency, perfect for a smoothie bowl. In our tests, this model easily tackled both green and berry smoothies with very few residual seeds and super smooth results. This model also suctions firmly to your counter, which keeps it completely in place for its pulse-style auto smoothie setting. In addition to the 14-ounce smoothie bowl jar, this model comes with two 24-ounce blender jars with travel lids, which are all dishwasher safe. If you want the option to switch between personal smoothies and blending up party-sized batches of frozen margaritas then the Foodie Power Blender and Processor System is another great pick from the Ninja Foodie line. In our tests, the blender produced smooth and creamy soups and milkshakes. Number 7. KitchenAid K400 Variable Speed Blender This sleek blender claims to blend even the toughest ingredients, from kale to almonds and it passed our test with flying colors. We couldn't taste the kale in our smoothie, it crushed ice into snow-like consistency and it even blended chia seeds smoothly. It features easy-to-use presets for crushing ice, smoothies and icy drinks. Plus, a little soap and water added to the self-clean cycle makes sure no food bits are left behind in hard-to-reach spots. In our tests, we noticed that the start button is a little small and sometimes needed to be pressed several times to activate. We love its sleek design and that you can pick from a variety of fun colors. While this blender is at a lower price point compared to similar high-powered blenders, KitchenAid also has a smaller and lower cost model that performed well in our tests. The K153 Speed Ice Crushing Blender allows you to easily whirl up a soup or a smoothie in one batch even though its pitcher has a smaller 6-cup capacity. Number 8. Hamilton Beach Professional 1800 Watts Blender The Hamilton Beach Professional 1800 Watts Blender is a great deal when comparing price versus performance. It comes equipped with four program settings for making smoothies, crushing ice, pureeing and self-cleaning, Tasks it performs with above average reliability. Large pulse and start slash stop buttons make for uncomplicated control, and Hamilton Beach simplifies additional options by dividing its control dial into two halves, the left half dedicated to the aforementioned programmed modes and the right half for adjusting variable speeds. A large red LED display takes the guesswork out of keeping tabs on elapsed time or time remaining, depending on selected setting. There's a measuring cap for incorporating ingredients while mixing at lower speeds, and the lid includes an ergonomic grip that improves the chances you'll remove it smoothly without splatter. The Hamilton Beach Blender produced delicious tasting oat milk with a dairy-like consistency, alongside great tasting smoothies. Only a few pieces of frozen fruit escaped the blades resulting in a slightly chunkier chug, but the taste didn't suffer. Skip this blender if homemade hummus or nut butters are on your favorites list, the blender's blade assembly does a suboptimal job of incorporating ingredients like garlic or chickpeas into a satisfactory texture and you might be left fishing out chunks of ingredients. Number 9. Blendtec Total Blender Classic If smoothies are your thing, 
then the Blendtec Total Blender Classic is the best blender for you. The Blendtec's upturned helicopter blade configuration is exceptionally proficient at chopping down frozen berries, bananas, protein powder and ice downward into a vortex, completely incorporating ingredients into deliciously smooth textured concoctions that had us scraping the jar for more. The 1560-watt motor is powerful, capable of mixing chickpeas with olive oil into satisfyingly creamy hummus in under a minute. The design is a bit utilitarian, but very stable and yet lightweight enough to pick up and move around without a struggle. The inclusion of 10-speed controls with pulse mode as well as 6 program settings for mixing batters, whipping up hot soup, blending whole juice, making ice cream, and crushing ice means you'll never be left wanting for options. The illuminated LCD timer display is also bright and easy to read from a distance. Number 10. Breville the 3X Blucer. If smoothies, juices, slushies and cocktails play prominently in your daily diet, the Breville 3X Blucer is a great space-saving blender juicer in one. Five aggressively angled blades sit above a contoured curved bowl perpetually scooping up ingredients to prevent them from getting stuck at the bottom. It shreds even the most fibrous greens into pleasingly digestible juice and disintegrates frozen fruits into a soft pour after just 45 seconds. With the add-on juicing chute accessory installed, the gaping 3.5-inch opening up top allows for fresh produce as large as small apples to be dropped in whole. Of the four one-touch program buttons, two are dedicated to smoothies, one for dairy-based drinks and the other for green smoothies, with five additional speed buttons underneath, with one set for incorporating delicate ingredients in a folding motion, all the way to five, the fastest speed and best for whipping up sauces and emulsifying salad dressings. The latter demands a bit of extra oomph to break down fibrous greens into a palatable concoction. A small control dial gives users an additional way to fine-tune control across the blender's 12-speed range. Number 11. Wolf High Performance Blender The brushed stainless steel finish, chunky red dial and squared-off stance all give the Wolf High Performance Blender the appearance of a professional-grade kitchen appliance. Weighing nearly 16 pounds, it's best thought of as a set-it-and-forget-it appliance that's also never going to shuffle or shake uncontrollably under normal circumstances. And that heft is put to good use when the blender's 2.4 peak HP motor blasts its blades to speeds normally associated with Ferraris, 210 miles per hour, to be exact. Press the smoothie preset and it starts off the line slowly with a 15-second intermittent slow then go pulse before going all out for 40 seconds at an impressive clip obliterating rock-hard frozen strawberries and liquefying frozen bananas into a drinkable consistency. Where the wolf only does marginally well is while crushing ice. The one-minute ice crush function does a fine job of agitating ice and initially appears to break up ice into a fine even consistency. Still worse, the flatter blade arrangement of the wolf blender produced some of the most unpalatable hummus in our testing an unpalatable paste reminiscent of wall spackling. So this isn't the one to buy if you plan to make dips. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe us to get more information and update product review videos.